Hey guys, it's Rombo. I thought I'd do a quick uh, update on Eyeless and Fern and uh, take a quick look at a new one here, S-Y-B-L. Um, well, while I was away uh, golfing yesterday, I um, think we had a, a nice little bounce back. Uh, I told you to look forward uh, to uh, hopefully a bounce off of 0536 and look at that bounce right off it. And now we broke the 0579 uh, barrier. We're right on it. So uh, what to look forward to uh, for this week? Uh, well, we have uh, still to look at this upward resistance trend line and the downward resistance trend line. Uh, technically, according to what we're looking at here, we're still in a downtrend we're under this downtrend line we need to get above this upward trend line uh, to uh, really uh, feel confident that we're going to be going up uh, not only breaking this line here but uh, we need to break the 0735 uh, area right here to really start looking or feeling confident uh, if you're in it uh, hold it if you if you're in it up high and uh, you want to average down Again, I would take a, take a look and see what happens on that uh, next candle, which would be Monday. Let the candle finish. I don't care if it comes up and finishes here. At least you know now that you have uh, solidly broken this uh, support line. And then maybe Tuesday, uh, if it comes down and bounces off there, uh, that might be a, a good time to uh, add in or buy in. Um, and that's what we're looking at here. But for me, I, I, I'm really hoping and watching to see what happens on this uh, upward uh, resistance trend line here. Uh, so that's what we're looking at for Eyeless this week. Uh, I could see uh, something like this happening. Um, or uh, we can be, uh, we, we could just break back down and retest 536 again that's something that I talked about before uh, it's frustrating because we're we're still in this is we're still in consolidation here so until we break either way what you know down below the 044 uh, level or you know around the 050751 uh, level uh, we're just you know we kind of wasting our time uh, unless you're scalping you know you could be buying uh, lows and, and selling highs uh, during the week um, so that's what I have for eyeless this week um, fern uh, let's see where is fern here okay fern uh, did quite well for itself uh, came up pretty uh, nice and strong here uh, finished with a little bit of a topping tail uh, it definitely dipped down and the buyers came back in um, so what we're looking uh, forward to this week is uh, something that I noticed here is uh, we have the, you know the low here and coming up this way so we have we, we do have a trend line set uh, and then going from the high in the two previous highs here we are forming a wedge now it depends on what uh, Fern does uh, Monday uh, and Tuesday um, we did have a nice little break here consolidation and took off uh, I could see it bouncing back down to 011 that would be a nice uh, rest uh, from this move right here and then break higher and break out of the wedge that would be a really really good sign of strength uh, or it, it can retrace a hundred percent usually when you have a 100 percent retracement it doesn't bounce that high uh, and then we might uh, come down and test uh, the bottom wedge uh, and do something like this. It is uh, an asymmetrical wedge, 
So that means uh, it's no guarantee that uh, it's going to go up or down on an asymmetrical. Uh, it, it waits until usually uh, the end of the wedge before uh, it, it breaks the upside or the downside. Uh, so uh, this next couple of days is going to be kind of uh, really important to see what's going to be happening with Fern, if it, if it breaks the upside and, and, and breaks this uh, downward trend resistance line, that's a good sign that it's going to continue to move up. Now, that doesn't mean that there won't be a dip back down to, you know, 0.13 before it pops up again. Um, but uh, that, that that's one likely scenario, and that would be really good news for you guys. Uh, or a 50% retracement, again, would be good, and to see if it then it pops up above. Uh, that would be uh, another really good sign. Uh, a 100% retracement and then comes up 50%. Now we're we're looking at you know some kind of scenario, something like that that's gonna happen and have a little consolidation there. So uh, that's what I have looking forward to this week in uh, for Fern. Uh, and then we have a new one here, um, CYBL. Oh, let's see if I, I'll just type it up here. Had a pretty good day. Um, it's been, uh, it hit the high here at 0 0.0135, and then we had a, a, a really good, uh, pretty parabolic uh, couple of days. Uh, usually that's not pretty, uh, you, you don't want to see that. You want you generally want to see you know a, a slower uh, type of a retrace, uh, typically you know somewhere around the 45 degree level. Uh, this this was just a sell off, uh, so uh, you never know what can happen uh, after a quick sell off like that. The thing that I do like here's on the Fibonacci this this very last move, it did come down. Uh, only to the 50% uh, retracement uh, for this move. For the overall move, it finished exactly on the 50% uh, retracement for for the whole year. Uh, so that's that's a really good sign that it stopped right there. That's a sign of a good healthy move. It came back. It had rest from that big move. Now it doesn't guarantee it, but that usually means that you can have some confidence if it does break to the upside it can break the previous high uh, so that's that's a good sign uh, because ma many times when you see uh, a retracement of you know 75 percent or more uh, you might see another uptrend but it usually doesn't get above the 23.6 line uh, on the Fibonacci and then uh, you might start seeing lower uh, lower lows and uh, lower highs uh, before uh, making another move maybe down uh, down the line so uh, that is uh, something that can happen here uh, depending on tomorrow uh, or I'm sorry Monday uh, Tuesday uh, things to look at is the point zero zero seven five line here uh, zero seven two th this whole area right here if uh, it starts green, or I'm sorry, if it starts red and continues to come down, uh, then the move wasn't finished yet uh, on the sell-off. And then we're, we're looking at uh, 0 0.006 to be a support. Uh, and that's still down to 61% retracement. You can still see a really strong move back up from there. But uh, once it gets down to the uh, 0041 level, then we're looking at a smaller uh, bounce back and then maybe retesting that or possibility of coming down even lower at around the 0 .0033 level. Uh, that uh, scenario is possible. So a uh, very important couple of days coming ahead for Sybil 2 to see if it tests and we start the way back up again, something like that. Um, or if it continues downward below the 0075 line, then we might be looking at a, a farther uh, retracement down and uh, weakness in, uh, in the overall uh, 
obvious uptrend that we're in. Uh, here's the uptrend line right here, but we're way above that. Uh, the control line is way down here, so the uh, bulls are in control uh, overall on the daily chart. So things are looking pretty good for Sybil. Uh, I would say the next couple of days should tell us uh, uh, relatively if we're, we're going to continue up or uh, if we dip down a little bit, then we might not go as far up. Uh, or if we break the level, then we might be looking at some kind of uh, temporary uh, downtrend uh, for Sybil. So uh, with that said, I hope you guys have a good weekend, and um, we'll be seeing you Monday.